Hey, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss Pre Market Report for September 7th, 2016. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES right now. What you'll notice is price obviously probed the bottom of its uh, narrow range here late last week, and since then we've squeezed here. Uh, prices are now starting to test. Uh, above 2185s, we see that uh, every single time we've gotten above 2185s, we've seen significant rotations back across the range, uh, back toward 2160 or perhaps below. And we could see a little bit more of that here pretty soon. We've already seen price push above 2185 yesterday, closed above it, uh, and then already this morning, pre market, we've seen price rotate off that zone. I think right now, with the fact that we have been squeezing higher, we could still push above 2190 but I think overall uh, this move starts to get a little long in the tooth above this zone and that could imply a move back across the range toward 2150 half. So right now again 2185 very very important to watch. We continue to be in the range. Volatility is beginning to increase just a hair here but uh, we got to continue to watch for signs of expansion from this range. Alright let's take a look at the intraday time frame for a moment. This is what it looks like on the intraday basis. Again, 2185 comes across right here. Price is closed above that zone yesterday. And then in overnight trading, there's been multiple attempts to try and establish acceptance above the previous session's close. And so far, we've seen rotations lower. Uh, we have the previous week's close at 2179.5. If you recall, that was a very important level that we watched the previous session. So coming into that zone could offer an opportunity for bulls to defend and squeeze and retest prices above 2185. Otherwise, failure to hold 79s opens up a return back toward 2173. All right, let's take a look now at crude oil. Here's crude. All right, now looking at crude, what you'll see here, we have the weekly pivot boss pivots. We see the significant rejection uh, from the previous session here. You see price rally as high as uh, the 4653s, major rejection off that zone, and then comes all the way back and closes below 45s. Uh, and then kind of held in the range a, a lot of uh, yesterday morning after the major sell-off, and now we're seeing inside day uh, forming around 45s. Uh, the fact that price was rejected here at 4653s, very, very important. Uh, that was previous support, it went offered, and then there's the retest and the defense by the bears. That typically implies another leg of weakness to come, uh, but we got to continue to watch this uh, the de development here around the 45s. But overall, this typically implies another round of weakness. If so, we have uh, a good high probability target at 42. That's a good spot to watch, and that's also just near uh, the 25% weekly expansion target of 41.82. So we've got a couple of targets here to watch out for on the downside. Uh, if this thing were to get back above, uh, for the most part, 4560, which had been one year VPOC, we could see a little bit of a squeeze here, but uh, for the most part, uh, though that rejection was pretty significant and could imply more weakness. Now, looking at this thing on an intraday basis, you'll see what it looks like here for today. Overall, here was yesterday's sell off again. There's 4550, 4560, a big drop, and then for the most part, price held at the lower part of the range before a modest squeeze above VWAP. Uh, since then, we see price come over here, get very chunky up here in this upper portion, but there was a failure to establish acceptance uh, about 45 as the stops came out and now we've rotated lower. So this is gonna be important to see how price responds upon a retest of 44.20, the previous week's uh, close here. That's gonna be very, very important because coming into that zone could be defended after the recent squeeze. Uh, and that could provide an opportunity to retest value of 45.25. Otherwise, failure to hold 44.20 opens up another path to that 42 we talked about a little earlier. All right, let's take a look now at gold futures. Gold has been quite bullish here, uh, going to the higher time frame. Here we go. One thing we talked about with gold was that any push into 1306 was going to offer a, a very high probability buy opportunity for a push into 1360 to 1370. And in just a couple of days here, we've seen this thing materialize, we've seen this thing hit a, a high of 1357.60. So already we've gotten close to our target. 
which was the, the front end was 1360, the back end was as high as 1370. So that's the target zone, and we've come uh, within two and a half points of reaching it already. That's how powerful that bounce was off the LVM so far. Significant, significant move. Uh, Three-day reversal, really, and eventually the two-day highs came out. Big-time short squeeze and a continuation. And now, after a major two-day advance like this, you could see a digestion day develop at these highs as you know price kind of re-auctions or, or begins to auction back in these prices. Uh, any pullback, perhaps in the 1340, could be seen as a good buying opportunity for another leg up. But again, uh, you're starting to get overextended above 1370. So this thing is coming to a close here. Uh, you got to be able to take some of this off the table, and the majority of this of this trade has to be off the table with just a portion seeking higher prices. All right, uh, let's take a look here at the NQ. Here's the NQ. This one here has been quite bullish. What we talked about before was the 48.20. And I said when price gets above 48.20, that's usually an opportunity to sell. Uh, and what we had in the previous Friday here was price came in 48.20 and dropped. Yesterday it came into it, dropped initially, and then eventually closed above it. What I mentioned was it's not so much about bouncing off of 48.20. It's more about once price gets above 48.20 and does its business, whenever it comes back below it, that's when you start to see the slam. So right now you're just seeing the price push beyond the previous week's high, uh, or actually the high two weeks ago. And this is about as high as we tend to go and before things start to rotate. So this is going to be something very important. If price cannot maintain acceptance above 48.30, uh, that could be an early indication of a rotation back across the range toward 47.60. So keep that in mind. Obviously, this thing has been quite bullish, very, very bullish here since the Brexit news. And so I would say all pullbacks, no matter how deep, are still buying opportunities until proven otherwise. So uh, regardless what intensity comes on this pullback, I still think it's a great buying opportunity. But short term, uh, I believe that any failure to hold this 4830 could really cause the sell stops to come out below 4820 and all of a sudden you're back into 4760. Really quickly, let's cover the intraday time frame here uh, for the most part. We're talking about that 48.30, uh, the recent highs up here, 48.37, and you can see that price came in there once, pulled back, came in there twice, got a lower high, and pulled back again. So not much luck above 48.35 right now. Here's 48.31's uh, previous sessions closed. That's going to be important short term. So if there's any failure to get any acceptance above 48.30, the rotation likely brings you back toward 4,800 very, very quickly. Uh, the other thing here to keep in mind, if price does push beyond 4840 and continues to hold, the next upside targets here would then become 4850 uh, and 4868, somewhere in that zone. So 4850, ones are 55s, uh, and then you have the next upper level of targets. So here's basically your three levels of targets to watch out for, 4840s, 4850s, and 4860s. All right, that's it for now. Let's see how this thing plays out heading into the rest of the session. Good luck and trade well.